Hey, what's going on, YouTube? This is Dottie from Ignite Cinemas. It's Friday, so... It's Final Cut Fridays! And on this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a square video you can use for your Facebook and Instagram using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! Alright, so I know you guys have seen these type of videos all throughout your Facebook and Instagram. It's pretty much a square video with... Um, or a square, yeah, a square video. There's like text above and on the bottom of it. And it looks like pretty much like a widescreen, like a movie screen. A lot of internet marketers like Ty Lopez, Grant Cardone, Gary V, they use these type of videos. A lot of meme videos are made like this. And even like music uh, videos, when they're promoting them, they use this type of format. So it's really easy to make and create. I actually make these for my clients when i'm editing their youtube videos i also create facebook content for them and we use these as lead generators for their business to gain hot leads right now i got my client right here and i'm about to create one right now so first things first what we're going to do is we're going to come up top and also know what frame rate your video was shot in um, this video for example was shot at almost 30 frames a second so 29.97 to be exact it is a 4k video but that 480 1080p does not matter in this situation first we're going to create a project from the project um, i'm gonna name it um, i'm gonna name it that and under format we're gonna go custom this is huge we hit custom now the standard resolution is 1920 by 1080 to get that square effect, we're gonna change it to 1080 by 1080. And this is the biggest size file of square video you can place on Instagram and Facebook to get the best quality. And drop down to whatever, whatever frame rate you use when filming. Mine was this one right here. All this is cool, but okay. So what we do from here is we find the video we want to put in there and as you can see just drag that into the timeline it automatically gives you the widescreen the black bars so you can add text or background up here the letterbox now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna skim through this real quick and because my client was talking about exercises to burn more fat i usually keep these um videos short and sweet like no longer than a minute or so just to keep like viewers engaged. Now, if you didn't want the black bars and you wanted to change the color for whatever reason, all you have to do is go to the text generator up here, go down to generators and hit solids. Then what you're gonna do, I mean, if you want white, you can get white, pink, or if you wanna get your own, you go to custom, drop this down, but put it below your video clip, extend it out to the duration of your clip, we come over here to this side, hit the generator, and you see there's a color palette right here when you click it. Now we can we can go crazy, we can go pink, we can go blue, purple, green, any color you want. Uh, for this tutorial sake, I think I'm gonna keep it simple. I think I'm gonna actually keep it black. After that, we go up here, we stay in the text field, we go into titles, and um, I'm gonna drop a basic title on top of the clip. Let's extend it out to the duration. Now, for this video, I'm gonna put um, put do this exercise. I can't spell. Okay, do this exercise. Uh, my go-to font when I'm creating these, I like a clean font. I either use Babis, of course, or um, if you go up to 2D styles and go to heavy, you get this. I like this font a lot. This is a Wiener Next heavy. And play around with it. Do that right there do this exercise and then i'm gonna add more i'm gonna add more text on the bottom of it so literally i copy and paste it so i move this on down do this exercise to burn fat and then i'm gonna add um the fire emoji because emojis crush on facebook videos like this and instagram videos like it just makes it look cooler so uh, shortcut how to do that i did a tutorial on this before um you can click the link here to view that but real quick you hold control command spacebar 
while you're typing in the text area over here and it pops up your emoji catalog which is freaking awesome put that there yeah that looks sweet don't it and i'm gonna make it a little bit bigger if you guys want to get more crafty let's say for example like your client or yourself you have a background you would like to use instead of using colors what you can do is you can insert the picture let's say this was their, their branding thing they had well i simply insert that image drag it out place it on the bottom right here as you can see it's kind of peaking so all, all i'm gonna have to do is click the transform button here and go ahead raise that on up then i'm gonna copy paste it in this case do a shortcut hold the option key hit your mouse on top of it drag it down it makes a copy and again um, click that transform drag that on down boom and there you have it after that come up top share master file and hit next and you can save really simple to do again this is how you can create your own square video to use on facebook and instagram these videos are great for promotions for memes to generating eyeballs generating clicks getting hot leads to your business these videos are excellent and they really crush also a quick reminder i actually finished the tutorial but forgot to mention this this is a big pet peeve of mine and if you notice up here you know sometimes like when you write stuff out the fonts get like super cluttered right here like you see the spacing between the d and the o the t and the h but sometimes you get super close together like the e and the x here you see that i'm gonna show you guys how to fix that real quick when you're doing this i don't know why it happens sometimes but it does so so you want to space out the e and the x here you click over here and you go to kerning 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 <laughs> you go to kerning and raise that on out see if you can get you go that or i usually keep it like i eyeball it so then we keep it four keep it at four that looks way better go to kerning adjust this back to a four go back here perfect and the C over here. This is minor details, but I'm very detail oriented. Um, we can click in, move that up. And then you can actually zoom in closer to see if everything's spaced good, if the kerning is good. Just that a little bit. So to demonstrate, we're gonna go down in the ground. I'm gonna do a regular version first and then a modification after that. So you're just gonna do a regular push up keeping the elbows tucked in all the way down and then right knee up to your chest. Hey, if you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that thumbs up button for me, like the video. And if you wanna see more tutorials like this in the future, as well as vlogs and unboxings, tests and reviews, don't hesitate, hit that red button for me, subscribe to the channel so you never miss a video. And as always, don't forget to ignite. See ya.